Hello everybody. Um, this is just kind of a update and a little bit of a smash book share just so you're not staring at nothing while I'm talking. Um, my previous video I talked about um, getting a new, well, going to Alabama so we could look for a house. Uh, we've gotten past the appraisal process where they valued the home for the same price as we had offered it so that's the or was the next biggest hurdle so hopefully everything goes smoothly from here on out and we'll be good to go. Um, we've planned to do our leave out of here on uh, it's gonna pack our stuff up like the 24th and 25th I think it was. Let me get my my calendar real quick. Uh, let's see I think that's when it was. Um, yeah, so 22nd, 23rd to pack, 24th to load it to the truck, and then the rest of the week and weekend we use for cleaning up, whatever else needs to be done, and then hopefully if things go well, we should be out of here on Thursday and in the new house that night, um, because it only takes seven hours to get there, so... Um, this is this is my planner, by the way. Um, I was going with another planner. It was a week or a day per page, and it got on my nerves because I really don't write a lot of stuff. So I wanted something smaller. So I purchased the week on two pages, created my own dividers with some scrapbook paper that I have that I thought was pretty, and that's just where I'm going with that. I'm going to do some decorating on these different monthly sections at some point. And then this piece right here um, is from, I don't remember which company, but they had the uh, acetate 12 by 12 pages, so I got one I thought would be pretty. And these little sticky notes are from Tuesday Morning's Cloud Notes. Yeah, it just says Cloud Notes on it. I don't know how well you can see that. So, they had them there and I thought they were cute, so I grabbed a packet. So, that's all I have in here at the moment. Just the calendar, um, a couple of zippy pouches I got through Day Runner. They're kind of a neat rubbery plastic rather than what we normally see. And then I have my um, other older one back here with some paper thing. So nothing too exciting in my my calendar planner. So anyway, back to the house. So at some point I'm going to not be able to do any more video making because I will be too busy packing and sorting. So I will make sure to put up a small little message type video. It might even just be text saying I'm currently away and I'll be back so that you don't think I just died or something. And then hopefully as soon as I get my art space sorted out, which you know I showed in the previous video how I plan on laying the furniture out, but you never know until you actually get there if that's going to work the way you hoped. But um, once I get my area set up, I'm hoping to get a proper filming section with my table over here on the right being cleared off like I always wanted it to be. I should be able to mount my tripod onto the table differently and be able to film a much bigger space, hopefully. Um, or maybe something from the ceiling. We'll see. That's my ultimate goal, is to have a better viewing space than just this, because this is cramped, and I've got the tripod, like, you know, right here in front of me, in my way. That's why you see me do some awkward passings of items on occasion. Anyway, enough of that blathering. Um, so these are some smash books I have gathered from like Tuesday mornings and Ross when they're having them on sale for, I think I got this one for five bucks or something. This is the big one. Let's see, it is, I don't know where my other ruler is. This is about 11 inches by mm, 13. And when I bought these, I didn't actually have any setup plan for what I was going to put in them, but I finally decided what this one was going to be. So I haven't done a whole lot in it yet. This is the pockets one. Um, so I am using it for food. 
So I have some menu from a place with a receipt from a visit. These came in here like this. Went to Panera, there's their menu, there's some napkins, and just some places I enjoy eating. And then I've got lots of space for more restaurants to go in there. This one's neat because it has all these extra little pockets that are added. That you can stuff goodies into. And it has these ones like the old um, school folios. Uh, let's see. Let's skip ahead a few here. I don't remember where my next section is. Alright, here we go. This one. This is my candy. So I have a pocket here with the bag packaging and some stuff in it. And then I have another one back here that so far has my drinks. Um, this is Land of Lakes uh, cocoa that we buy from Sam's Club. <laughs> I love this stuff. You get like a seven different flavors in the packaging. See, there's French vanilla, raspberry, arctic white, s'more, and there's like a few other ones I haven't managed to grab the packaging for. And this is my coffee I have every morning. So I'm going to continue stuffing this full of food items that I find fun. And uh, restaurants I visit, especially since we'll, you know, move to a new location. We'll have some new restaurants to try out. All right, this is the norm, normal sized smash book. And I don't remember which, which one this is, but as you can see on the front, I'm calling this one Favorite Shows. Now I did stamp this with, uh, let's see, who is this? Uh, yeah, it's Dilusions doesn't say which one it is. Oh, Clearly Alpha is what it's called. So I use that one and it's kind of got a, um, a hash crosshatch type decoration for the, the fill. So I just went in with my marker and colored in completely. And then I used some other gel pens and stuff to color this. This is set up as the school, school one, I think. So I don't need a school one. This one I'm going to be using as my, my favorite shows. And what I want to do is, I've just got some sticky notes in here at the moment of different shows I like. And I'm going to take each show and find a picture for it, like the logo. And then I'm going to have a piece of paper. I'm probably going to use um, Project Lifeguards, I think, that have... Uh, a, you know, a list format to them. And then I'm going to have, like, who the main actors and actresses were, years on, number of episodes run, what kind of a plot was it, and if it received any awards. And this, so I just filled the whole book up with um, TV shows. TV shows or, like, shows that maybe only run HBO. And then I have... This one, this is my road trip book. I just added this sticker the other day. Um, I don't know how well it's going to show up in the picture. Yeah, it's not going to show up. This actually sparkles a lot like the reflector stickums that they put on the the road uh, do. The, you know, when they put the sticker down for the line. Or when they throw the uh, glass bead granules into the, the paint when they're doing the lines on the road so that they reflect for you. It, it, it looks the same way when you're getting the light to respond to it correctly. I don't, it's not really showing up in the in the video there. And then I took a bunch of stickers. Um, I used one of them to cover up the Smashbook logo and then I used some other stickers from some collection, travel collection. And then this one, I did this doodling one day. Actually that's not doodling, that's stickers. Um, I'm going to do some doodling around this. So, exploring around me. And then, this was a trip my husband and I took down to Natchitoches. I think I've mentioned this in a previous video. So I've got all of our little doodads and uh, places we visited and just things taped in here and there. I'm going to add some more little decorative elements and some blurbs. And this booklet was part of it and I'm going to maybe trim some parts of this out because we didn't go to everything in that booklet uh, so it's not really totally necessary to have and then there's some receipts from it this I think I want to move to 
my food book. And then I'll cover up this, maybe, I don't know. And then I go to this one. Yeah, this is a totally different timeline. I might take this off, put it in my food book, because it is food related, and then cover up this writing with some other, something or other. And then we went down to, like I said before, went to Alabama house hunting, and this is one of the places we stopped in, just for historical purposes sake. This is pretty interesting, their little museum they have there. You, you can't take pictures in the museum, but really neat items. And then they have a birding trail, which we did not go on, but I want to at another date. And then I got these replicas of Confederate money and Southern States money, because they were quite interesting um, to look at. So I'll add them in here in my little visit to that place. And I'm just going to keep adding other stuff in here. We did go to the, I can't think of the name of the bridge right off the top of my head, but it was the um, one in Selma, Miss Selma, Alabama, where they uh, had walked across the bridge and there was the police had beat on um, people and several people died and then came back through later um, and did a, a proper march over it, you know, it, it commemorated every year and, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying not to be disrespectful, but I just, my brain is a little fried at the moment and I can't remember all the details. But yes, it's there in, in Selma. Um, so I have some pictures of that, and my husband and I going over the bridge. I think I'll add those in that book as well, because that's kind of a neat where have you been type thing. So I mentioned that I had a planner and I got frustrated with it. This was the planner, and it had um, these pages in it. And this is, you know, a day per page. I don't do enough stuff in my life for this to feel like it was useful. It's a very nice planner. It had nice paper. I took it apart and I put it in the other one just so I could have it in there thinking that would solve my problem. Mm, it didn't. Um, but I still had the leftover cover because this is some weird plastic stuff. It's, it makes you think of leather, but it isn't. Um, so anyway, I, I kept those, and I've just chunked my old inserts that I was trying to make in here, and I'm going to go through and cover these with some stuff. Um, keep using them. I've added paper in this section. This is Halloween-inspired leftover scraps. Cut them down, stuck them in here for October. I got something for November going on. I was going to try and make this kind of into a smash-in-it book. I have these dividers I made using Mod Podge. I've got these papers tucked in here because they were sticky. I have used my daddy bands on here and they no longer stick to each other, which they were doing before. But I have a stack of uh, random papers over here that I'm going to punch holes in and just, you know, add it in there and make it like this giant smushy book. I think I'll use it for maybe list making or something. Um, what else have we got? Uh, a couple months ago I participated in some some swaps and one of them was for tickets. Make your own tickets. Now we were allowed to use pre pre-made tickets. You know like you buy them on the roll. But we needed to decorate them into something else. And I have a picture somewhere on my computer. I'll see if I can find it and I'll put it in here if I find it. If not, then you'll just won't see it. Um, I'm pretty sure I took a picture of mine before I sent them out. So these are some of the ones I received. There's a couple more floating around here someplace. I'm not sure exactly where they ran off to. And I don't remember who made any of them at the time. Um, so I apologize if you see one of these that belongs to you, and I don't mention your name. Um, I have already thanked everyone through Facebook for their uh, lovely tickets. So let's zoom in a little bit so you can get a better, maybe not quite that far, better view of what we got. So this is just scrapbook paper, and then you measure it and you can cut it and use your hole punch to create the little ticket indents that you would normally see. So this person stamped and then drew. And then we have this one. It looks like they stamped. 
and then used some paints and sprays on it. Got some neat effects going on there. See a little bit of the shimmer. And then we have this one, which was done with, um, it repeated the same stamp, which is great because then you can use it more than once in different things. And it looks like it's on a floral, possible scrapbook paper. Maybe it was sprayed. But then they used, sorry, I'm out of frame. They used some embossing on it to get this nice shimmer. And then we have this one, which is eyeballs. I feel like these are all upside down. Let's go that way. Eyeballs on some pattern paper and some ink on the edges and some embossing going on. And then we have more stamps and ink. Lots of fun uses. This is painted on both sides, I think. And stamps and more emboss. This one says Ticket to Ride and has a feather. And I have two of those for some reason. This is scrapbook paper. And then they used gold embossing powder on theirs and edged it with some nice gold. So those are super fun. This one they did with black paper, a little bit different shape. And they did some embossing with blue. Very pretty. This one's got paint on it. And then different types of birds and lines and nice and shiny. And then we have, this one looks like scrapbook paper with some stamping and inks and all kinds of good stuff and some sequins added on there with some Mod Podge maybe or some gloss gel. Super fun and shiny. This one is some kind of scrapbook paper it looks like. And then they personalized these ones and went through and used initials for my name. Different types of stickers. Very cute way of using up some stickers. This one looks like it was done on, well, both of these actually look like they were done on some music paper, so it looks like some sprays were used. And then some punch outs and doodling and stamping and paint all used on that. And the same here, we got some little fabric elements added on there. These little pieces and then some little flowers glued on. So very fun. These were really nice to receive in the mail. Um, open up and look at all these, you know, miniature masterpieces, I guess you could call them. Um, I definitely think I would like to participate in another ticket swap in the future. Maybe once I get myself settled, I will hold my own uh, ticket swap kind of thing. So. I don't remember if I've shown an update on what's in my ATC book, so I will do that real quick along with this video, and then that'll be it for today. So I've shown this before. This is chipboard covered with paper. These are chipboard letters that I covered with tissue paper and then used um, UT. There we go. Used UT on that, and then glued them down. And the back's the same way, and I've got the uh, Seven Gypsies burgundy colored rings. This is where I keep my ATCs. There's my, my blurb about the swaps. I've got some extra pages. So these are mine plus everyone who sent me one so far. So this one's me. This was for spring last year. So some really neat artwork. I use tissue paper, embossing paste, um, die cuts, different things. And then we have more spring. This one was really fun. She had all these neat elements attached to it. Then I had to do, this one was for Lifebook. It was rituals, I think. So my rituals are I feed the birds, check my mail, a lot of the plants, have my coffee. Um, this was what I received 
back from someone, I think, for ritual. This one was, sorry. She does tea every day and then likes to do a Zentangle daily. And I don't remember where. Oh, that was bugs. And I did one with um, bees. Yeah, I didn't keep one. Bees on one. And the other one had dragonfly or butterflies or something like that. I don't remember. I have a picture someplace. So these were stamped and colored. And this one's actually three-dimensional. And then I ended up with an extra set of bug ones somehow. I think someone sent me them. You know, is I want to send something out. Random rack. So there's some. And then we did... For KIF, we did the, you can only use red, blue, and purple. So this was the one I got. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. That's something else. Sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, this one was Summer Fun. This was KIF as well. If you don't know what KIF is, it's Crazy Island Family. Uh, I link them in my videos uh, quite often. This is the one I made. I used a napkin and cut out the elements and added them on there and then I've got some gelatos and some embossing with some distress and then I glued some sand from an actual beach that I've been to on here. So there's lots of fun little elements on everyone's. And this is also one of them. And then we had Halloween. So this was mine and my inspiration was this cute little mummy sticker that's embossed this was paste and then I punched that out and colored it and put it on there and different things and we have this neat bewitching one and this one someone sewed a piece of fabric too a neat little glitter bat and then this one here has neat little elements on it now we're getting into the red, purple, blue. This one was mine. I didn't really had no idea what I wanted to do, so I just kind of incorporated some different techniques and put on the same thing there. So I got blue sequins, red washi, purple flower, and then of course the paints in the background. So here's one I got from someone. And this one. I like how they did the heart with the, the scribbles. And then we have this one. And this, a lady was supposed to be in the swap and something happened and it didn't quite work right. And I actually accidentally made a, an extra one of my own. Um, so I did a swap with her and this is one she sent me in a piece of acetate. Really fun um, way of doing a ATC card. And then I have these ones as well. And one more back here love and peace so those have been pretty fun I definitely want to do some more ACT um, or sorry ATC trades once I get settled so I will figure out how to run those I might start running some of my own swap type things so I'm thinking of maybe getting a post office box for my new address just so I have a not quite in my house type address you know, a little safety because I won't be living on a military base anymore. I think it'd be nice to be able to have a mailbox I can go check for goodies and then I can post that address on the the channel if anyone wants to send something they want me to share with everybody or if there's like a I've made this I challenge you to make something similar to it you know there's all kinds of possibilities of things that that can be done in the in the future once I've gotten myself organized again. So, I hope everyone's doing well, and I thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and if you are a subscriber and you like this video, please like, give me a thumbs up so I get some more um, traffic, I guess we could call it. And I know I've hit 100 um, subscribers, and I think I'm going to hold off to 150, because that will give me time to s gather some goodies and get to my new place and maybe get some more videos running um, and then we can do a giveaway for 150 subscribers and then we'll do another one at 300 I think something like that. So 
once again, thanks for watching, and like and subscribe and share with your friends, and I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.